Here's the situation. You need to look put together, but a suit feels too dressed up and a casual outfit feels like not enough. So what do you do? You go to that in-between dress code that we call smart casual. And in this video, five simple, easy, and stylish smart casual outfit ideas for fall. I'm Brian Sakawa and you are watching He Spoke Style where we are dedicated to giving you all the tips, knowledge, and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. All right, for our first look here, we're just going to keep it super simple and super classic. Navy chinos, white shirt, classic combo, and then the light gray flannel sport coat giving it some polish and seasonal vibes. So I have to be honest and say that this look is so easy to pull off that it's one that's easy for me to forget about when I'm thinking about what to wear. But what it reminds me of when I see it is that you really can never go wrong with those simple menswear basics in a classic color palette. And then I'm adding in some brown accents with the belt and the loafers, great smart casual shoe option. And on my wrist is the Cartier Tank American. Taking the same pair of pants, the navy chinos from the last outfit and changing up the top for a sportier and more earthy vibe. A chambray shirt I love all year round, but especially during the fall. I think the fabric and the texture mesh really well with the season. Same goes for the jacket, which is in a brown Donegal tweed. I'm so happy that the weather is finally getting cooler and I can pull this out again. It's one of my favorite fall jackets. Love the suede elbow patch detail. Pocket square contrasts a little bit, but also pulls in the blue of the shirt and pants. And then the leather strap of the watch tying together with the shoes, which are by Enzo Bonafe. All right, raise your hand if you have been waiting to see a blazer with jeans outfit on this channel. It's not something I do all the time, but sometimes it just works depending on the situation. I think it's important that if you are going to do this look that you do pay attention to a couple things. Number one, dark denim always looks best in my opinion. And number two, your jacket should have either a texture like the tweed jacket from the last outfit or a pattern like we have here with the gun club check. Those types of elements help to kind of bridge that gap so you don't have a disconnect between the jacket as the dressy element and the jeans as the casual. Another blazer with jeans outfit here, and although we don't have a big pattern or texture like a tweed, what we do have is a flannel fabric, which also works well with jeans because of the weight of the fabric, and it's just overall more organic look and feel. I layered in a v-neck sweater here in a light gray, and you can see the progression of color going from the dark gray jacket to the lighter gray sweater, and finally to the white of the shirt, which focuses your attention and frames up my face. Because of the jeans, I wanted to give this look a little more of a rugged feel, so I added in a felt fedora and finished it off with a pair of leather dress boots. Going for something lighter and more chic with this outfit here, you know, we tend to think of white pants as more of a summer style move, but what I like about wearing them in the fall and winter is that they're unexpected and it makes a fall or a winter outfit with them just seem really fresh. I wanted to keep a light and organic feel with this outfit that was in line with the season, which is why I chose a light gray flannel jacket and the light tan turtleneck. Now, I know a lot of you, like me, are really looking forward to the colder weather to start wearing those turtlenecks again, and I've got a video right over there with 10 different turtleneck outfits you can try. It's kind of a different style than this one, so click over there, check it out, and let me know what you think. 